In celebration of our 10th anniversary, we bring you this hazy triple IPA. Features Vic Secret, Topaz, and Experimental 07270 hops. Hazy, tropical, and celebratory cheers. Proudly brewed and canned by Bootleggers Brewery in Fullerton, California. Thanks for watching the Tapping Out Show. This is Matt and Jeremy, and we're gonna do 10 year anniversary Hazy Triple IPA from Bootleggers Brewery. So here's a little insight of what we've done already. Matt and I just out of, I would say boredom, <laughs> but we've actually had the other beer for the 10th anniversary for bootleggers and it was an Imperial Stout. And we really wish we would have taped it because the reactions that we got from it were uh, interesting to say the least. So we're, we're actually kind of a little scared of this one here. Only because if it's anything like the stout is, it's going to be a real uh, rough ride. I think it's a good way to put that. The, the stout was rough. I thought we actually taped it, but I, I didn't remember now. We didn't tape it when we tried it. Of course, you had the choice between the IPA and the stout, and you chose the stout, and I chose the IPA. So uh, basically, uh, I was able to correct that mistake that you made <laughs> the first time. But I mean, of course, you picked the one that's your style, and I picked the one that's my style. So. Good for but good for us. I was just ha lucky enough to just run into this thing. Right. Um, asked if I should get it. Never got an answer, so I just got it anyways. Um, I haven't. Uh, I have. I really don't know anybody that's tried it. I read a little bit about it. It sounds like uh, a lot of people said it was kind of boozy. So it sounds like it could be rough. I mean, ten percent IPAs. I mean, even for someone like me that likes IPAs, they can get a little rough depending on how it's how it's made, how it's brewed, everything else. Um, so it's almost like that one where, where we're both not sure. Right. I think we're going to love it or it's going to be a l little hard to throw down. I mean, it's 10% triple IPA. Well, know? I mean, but I, mean, I really think the bigger fear that we're having is from drinking the stout. And, and we really yeah. shouldn't compare their triple IPA to the stout that they made for the same thing. But it was the, another 10-year beer. You could smell this thing, by the yeah, way. It's a sudden. triple IPA 10% for sure. It smells like someone just spilled like a gallon of IPAs on the floor <laughs> right now. I mean, I'm not joking. Like, yeah. I mean, I'm stuffy it's, and it's, it smell when it popped the can open. Yeah, I mean, it's it's it smells really good. And also, I keep forgetting to mention, this is also a hazy. All right. So, I mean, I'm kind of looking forward to it. Because <coughs> once you put that much alcohol in a beer, it's hard to make it... Uh, you know, smooth sailing. Ooh. So, you know, it's a, it's a man up kind of beer. The nine and 10% IPAs um, can be even rough for someone like me. And I like IPAs and I like strong beers. It's funny that the, the smell is actually kind of dissipated. That first scent that I got was really strong. This one's not too bad now. It's, it's actually kind of citrusy. Is that hazy? I'm hoping that hazy's gonna... Okay, now, we're gonna find out right now, but it <laughs> says there's zero IBUs in this beer. Yeah. So 10%, Triple IPA with zero IBUs kind of seems like impossible. So it's, as he pointed out, it's hazy, so you can't see through it. It's almost an orange color. It's got a pretty heavy citrus scent. It, it had a bigger citrus scent when we first opened the can. It was very pungent, but it's not too bad now. Uh, the head is kind of decimated. It wasn't really a, a, a heavy uh, carbonation, even though you can kind of still see the bubbles on the top. Besides, it smells really good. No, it actually it does smell. It smells like really good. Oh, let's, like, put this, let's put this. It smells really good now. <laughs> when we first opened it, it was like hops. Just like you well, just a lot of times it. the smell is going to be the taste, right? Or pretty, pretty uh, close to it. So, I mean, if it tastes like what it smells like, and it doesn't, you know, feel like it's going to, you know, punch you in the mouth with ten percent alcohol, uh, you know, we're we're going to find out right now. Cheers. Cheers. Got that taste. No, yeah. It's smooth. Mm. Well, 
And then for, I'll, for the animal that it is. Well, I was going to say I'll go first. Then. It, it definitely does have a boozy taste, but it's not what I expected. Because to me, boozy, and maybe it's because of the stouts that we do and the porters, like it doesn't have like an imperial boozy where it's like you can feel it burning. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like you can almost feel like a, like an alcohol burn, like it's some kind of a spirit. It does have a burn kind of taste to it, but it's weird because it's almost like a burny and then it turns like dry. And yeah. which I think the dry kind of helps out with the taste of it to where it, you know, you still get your floral, you know, notes. You still get a lot of that like real hazy IPA feel to it. But then as soon as you start to kind of feel that boozy burn, the dry kicks in and it doesn't burn down your gullet. It doesn't overpower the taste. It's not, you know, pungent on the back of your tongue like a lot of those heavy IPAs are. It, it, it's, it's pretty decent, especially for the alcohol content that it has. And hazies are really my thing. Hazies are really his thing. So this is this is pretty. I, good. I either love or hate them because I mean I yeah. I hope to like them all, but sometimes there's a little too much grapefruit or you know whatever it is. But I mean I'm down to try pretty much any one that that comes my way that looks good. Um, I think this beer is awesome. I think this be, I think you should like this beer. I mean I don't know if you, you you like it or not, but we'll find out. But I think this is a perfect IPA for you because. Right when it's about to get bitter, right when it's about to get hoppy, right when it's about to get all the, all the shit that you don't like about IPAs, it just kind of fizzles out into a hazy, slight, boozy, slight, kind of boozy bitterness that kind of, and I don't like, like, I'm not a huge fan of the bitterness or dryness, so. Um, oh, it's not overpowering. It's, the, it's it, pretty awesome. Yeah, yeah, it's a kind of like a little hazy, like, yeah. you know, it kind of the, fizzles out, but I think this is a really good beer, especially for 10%. So hats off to bootleggers mm-hmm. on this one. This is kind of a, a good way to kind of show what they've learned in yeah. 10 years of making beers. Because I haven't had an IPA like this at all. And I mean, other than the ones that we film, I, I usually try every IPA, every place that I go to that's serving them, if I'm in the drinking mood, of course. And um, so, I mean, I've never had one like this. I've had a few triples. I've never had a triple hazy, though. 10%. Not too bitter, not too anything, not too hoppy. I mean, I bet you some people would probably want a little bit more. You know, a lot of hop heads out you there would, would probably you want a little funny, bit more. It's funny, I was actually kind of thinking the same thing, that this might be a little bit more mellow than, than a lot of people were expecting. Let's just do this. All right. You just said mellow about a 10% beer, though. That's pretty awesome. Think have you, about that. Have you seen our show? Yeah. <laughs> um, all right, one out of five. What are you giving it? You go first, bro. Uh-uh. Because uh, I already made my choice. Four point seven five. It's an awesome beer. I'm going four and a half, so I'll I'll go up on it and say four point seven five out of five. Because I it's, mean, for for the alcohol content, this is this is worth it. We're gonna wrap this up. So if you want to hit us up, the email is info at tappingoutshow.com. Uh, if you want to hit us up on social media, it's all one word: tapping out show. Besides that, you guys have a good night. Cheers. Cheers.